Hey, this is Tony with Salt Strong, and I wanted to make this video to give you guys some uh, resources to use if you're trying to find a place to launch your kayak or paddleboard or even a really just a small skiff that you may be able to basically just put in on the side of the road. And this is the site that I like to use for finding, you know, a new kayak launch location, and it's paddling.com. And when you go to this site, all you have to do is go to the top of the screen here where it says Go Paddle. You're going to click on that and you're going to see an option here for a paddling locations map. You're going to click on that right there and you can allow your location or don't allow. I'll go ahead and allow my location to be shared there. And what this is, it's basically a map where users have pinned different areas where you can launch. It could be a public boat ramp or it could just be a spot on the side of the road that someone marked on the map and it will show if it's accessible or not. So go ahead and uh, zoom in here. We're going to use an example down near the central east coast of Florida. And I'm going to show this on here you can see these red dots these are areas where people have marked where you can launch uh, where they have launched a kayak or paddleboard and you can click on that dot sometimes it will put you know details about what the area uh, is so you can click on that and this one doesn't seem to have any info really but some of these will have some info and also it will give you the GPS coordinates so you can put it into your GPS uh, to find it that way. But what I like to do when I do you know, pick a spot here is compare that to what it looks like on uh, actual Google Maps. So I'll go to Google Maps over here and this is that causeway where I just saw that uh, launch location. And all you have to do is zoom into the road and use the little guy on the bottom of the screen here this gives you street view and you can get a better look at what the area actually looks like so you can see if if you can actually launch your kayak or paddleboard so you see there's a little cut in the road that allows you to go back into here looks like a dirt area and then right there you can see there's an opening in the trees where you can launch your kayak or paddleboard now this is also a great tool to sort of do your own scouting without actually having to go to the place. Uh, even though some of these map images may be outdated, it can still give you a good idea of where you may be able to go to. Uh, so I like to use Street View if, let's say, I'm at paddling.com and you know I don't see an area where I want to launch from, but I know I want to fish that area because uh, you know it looks like a good spot. So I want to find somewhere that is as close as possible to the spot that I want to fish to launch. So that's where I'll go to you know, Google Earth or Google Maps and use that street view to basically just go down all of the roads uh, near where I want to fish and see if there's anywhere that I can put in uh, simply just by going on the road, street view, and looking along the side of the road for areas like that. Now here I just wanted to give one last example of basically just showing how Street View can help you find an area to launch from. Uh, now this area, this is over in Tampa Bay, this is E.G. Simmons Park. They do have a boat ramp, but when it comes to boat ramps, I highly recommend not using them, uh, you know, unless you have a trailer or something with your kayaks on them. But boat ramps can just be too busy, have too much traffic, and it can just be uh, a pain to launch there. And the good thing about a kayak or a paddleboard is, you know, you can launch them off the side of the road. You can launch them pretty much anywhere. So to avoid boat ramps, what I like to do is just look around the area, you know, wherever the road's close to the water, and see if I see any cuts going through the trees, like something like that, where you can see there's a cut going right up to the trees, sandy area, and then also just along the road. Let's see, right here, looks like there's a cut right there, so let's go ahead and put the street view into play. You can actually see what it looks like. Yeah, so there's a cut in the trees right there that you can launch from. So again, street view is definitely a handy tool when it comes to trying to find an area to launch your kayak or paddleboard, and also definitely be sure to check out paddling.com. And also, we're not affiliated with any of these sites. Just wanted to share this information and pass it along. That way you can get out there on the water. 
If you are new to Salt Strong, we are the largest online fishing club for saltwater anglers and we guarantee you two things. Number one, you'll start catching more fish in less time. And number two, you will save a ton of money on your favorite tackle and gear with discounts available exclusively for our members. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com and we'll see you there. There's something about the water that'll give you peace All by yourself or with your family Live Salt Strong in where the lines are dead.